champions. We are down to two teams. I'm Lisa Kearney inside the FanDuel Sportsbook here at the Meadowlands in New Jersey. Thanks for hanging with us this week and every week this season. You're watching FanDuel TV's More Ways to Win. We are counting down the days to the big Super Bowl and getting you ready to bet the big game. The Eagles and Chiefs, the last two teams standing, an awesome matchup of number one seeds. And you know, guys, that I am ready for this one. I told you guys last week I was saving my red for this show right here because I knew we'd be talking about my hometown team repping the AFC. Yes, here I am. The team is here. All here ready to go. We're going to get to all these guys to break down every angle of this elite matchup. Sports betting expert Dave Weaver, former NFL wideout and Super Bowl champion James Jones in-house. We got sports talk radio host Andrew Filipponi and, of course, the face of Marquee Sports Network, our NFL expert, Cole Wright. Hey guys, this is it. We're betting the Super Bowl. We're going through best props on the board as well. So let's go. More Ways to Win starts now. So here it is, Chiefs and Eagles Lombardi Trophy is on the line. Philly has dominated both opponents in these playoffs. You saw it happen, outscoring them by a total of 69 to 14. That included the Bills, guys. This Philly defense has given up less than 200 total yards per game. But that unit, as everyone knows, will be tested by this Chiefs team who had the top rated, rated total offense and passing offense during the regular season. Plus, of course, the extra week before the Super Bowl gives all players that extra time to heal, including Patrick Mahomes, in that extra time for that ankle. All eyes on that. Dave, James, a pony, a Cole, everybody's getting in here to pick this one. Curious to see which way you guys are going here. Philly stands as a one and a half point favorite in Arizona. Dave, you're going to start us off. Happy Super Bowl preps. Yeah, happy Super Bowl. I didn't wear any red, but I'm, I'm feeling you because I'm on the Chiefs here and for a couple of different reasons. Number one, the experience that they bring. Mahomes already having a Super Bowl under the belt. Jalen Hurts going to have some, some jitter. Talk to James about being in the Super Bowl for the first time. I looked it up, James. You had 50 yards. You had a pretty darn good game. Uh, but I just think Mahomes' experience is going to get them a long way. And I think they've had the tougher road to get here. The Eagles have the 29th ranked strength of schedule. The Chiefs the ninth. So when you look at what the Chiefs have had to done all year to get to this point versus what the Eagles have done soft they haven't really beaten anybody I think they're going to be totally blitzed by the fact that they're facing a a type of offense that they have never seen before and I believe the Chiefs are going to put up a ton of points in this game and Travis Kelsey is going to be a big part of that having scored more touchdowns than anybody ever in the playoffs other than Jerry Rice so James I I don't know I I would ask you what are the jitters going to be like here for a lot of these Eagles that have never been in this spot before? They have some guys that have been in the Super Bowl still on that roster from the last time they won. So you're going to be able to tell those guys, hey, man, calm down a little bit. You know, we've been here before. This is how this thing's going to go. These are the things you want to get out of the way, the distractions you want to get out of the way and really get back to playing football. Hey, and don't overthink it, man. It's another football game, right? It's the last one. It's a ring on the line, Super Bowl championship on the line. Absolutely. But continue to do what we've been doing, right? And for me, this game is going to be won up front. You look at last week's games against the 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. It was one up front. The Philadelphia Eagles defensive line got after every quarterback that came into that game for the San Francisco 49ers, and they ruined the game. Same thing for the Kansas City Chiefs, right? Jones coming up the middle, ruined the game for JoJo Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. This game is going to come down to who wins in the trenches. And for me... The Philadelphia Eagles front seven, that defensive line, somebody is going to be free. Somebody is going to be on a wink lead. Somebody is going to get to Patrick Mahomes and get him off the spots. We watched it when those New York Giants football teams beat the great Tom Brady. I know Eli made a couple throws and Jalen Hurts will make a couple throws. But that defense of front seven with Justin Tuck, 
with OC, with Strahan. They were getting after Tom Brady all game long. That is what I see in this one. I do not think the Kansas City Chiefs offensive line can block the Philadelphia Eagles front seven. I got Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles flying high, fly, Eagles fly, winning this one. And Jalen Hurts gets his first Super Bowl win. Yeah, the last thing I'm going to do is make a prediction off of experience in this game. Uh, to me, you throw that out. James played on a Packers team that had almost no Super Bowl experience, and the Steelers had been there two years before, won the game on an 80-yard drive, tipped off by the Ben Santonio touchdown, and they beat the Steelers that day. The, the Patriots team that James just mentioned, they all had three Super Bowl rings, and they lost to New York. So I'm not buying that. The Chiefs had Super Bowl experience when they played the Bucks, and they got blown out. So I'm not picking this game based on how many veterans have been in this game. I'm going with X's and O's, just like James's. Have you not watched Super Bowls lately, Dave? Last year, the Rams won the game because they sacked Burrow seven times. They got to him up front. Aaron Donald could have been the MVP. The year before, Patrick Mahomes couldn't find an open receiver because he was running around like crazy. So bottom line for me is I love the Eagles in this game. I think the line's too low. I would even alt spread it up to more than a touchdown win. I think they win comfortably against the best player in the world, Cole. Come on, Cole. No, James, me out. I don't know. I don't know. If, I, I'm, Dave, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Just just hold on a second because I don't know what James <laughs> right now is more in that Philadelphia defense or if he doesn't believe in that Kansas City offensive line. But e either way, equally as impressive as James' Super Bowl performance, Dave's nifty new haircut. Looking sharp over there, Dave. But when it comes to Kansas City, eight games decided by three points or fewer. And they were six and two in those games. So close-knit contests, that's been their calling card. And uh, uh, two of those eight games, they were versus Cincinnati. And they split with them. So throw those two out of the window. And they had 10 wins by 10 or more points so far this season. So uh, three of those uh, versus 2023 playoff squad. So what do Patrick Mahomes and company know how to do? They know how to go out there and get it done. Never on schedule but always on time, 31-27. I'm even throwing the scoring for you for good measure. Mm. I'll take this bonus info early in this show. Thank you, Cole. All right, guys, we know this. There are a ton of fun prop bets for this game. We're going to hit a bunch of them throughout this show. So stick around and see which way our experts are going on some of the most popular props on the board right now at the FanDuel Sportsbook. And let's bring Dave and Pony here to focus on some Kansas City Chiefs player props. To start us off, guys, I'm going to give you the line. You tell me if you're going over or under. And we're going to start with Patrick Mahomes. Over or under 283 and a half passing yards. Pony. Going under. The Eagles this year have given up more than 283 passing yards six times. Five of those teams scored fewer than 20 points. So they were giving up yards while blowing the opposition out. Now, I just said I think Philly's going to win this game by a touchdown. But I don't think the final score is going to be like 13 to 3. I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. And I think the way to advance the ball and move it downfield on Philly <clears throat> is on the ground. Andy Reid wasn't born yesterday. I think he will run the ball in this game. And I think that keeps Mahomes under that big number. It's too good to be true, Dave. Well, I found a lot of games where the Eagles actually were shutting quarterbacks down. It looked like they weren't giving up many yards. And then I said, who are they playing? Steelers, Texans, Washington, Colts, Packers. Titans, Bears. We're talking about teams with no receivers. The Chiefs have that, and they've never seen a quarterback like Patrick Mahomes this year. I think he hits that number easily. I think he's going for over 300, Lisa. Okay, I like it. You know I like that. Let's talk about his favorite receiver here. Dave, this one's for you. Does Travis Kelsey go over or under 78 and a half receiving yards? He's a, he's a big game player. He steps it up in the playoffs. He missed that number last week, by the way, by a half a yard. He had 78. But prior to that, his other seven playoff games before, he had at least 90. So that's the number I'm expecting him to get to. I think he's going to have 90, maybe even 100. I think they're going to double team him the All whole right, game. Same I, have him going, oh. I have him going under, Lisa. Yeah, my bad, Pony. I wanted to let you, sort of wanted to let you uh, have a chance there. All right, you're going under. Explain. Sorry. Well, I know you're cutting me off because I'm picking against your Chiefs, but Dave's <laughs> talking about you know the, the Eagles playing teams with no receivers. Outside of Kelsey, who's he throwing the ball to in this game, Dave? Juju's banged up. Kadarius Tony's hurt. 
They're dropping like flies. McCole Hardman. Valdez oh, I think he'll scaling double team at 100 Kelsey. plus last week. Yeah, against Eli Apple, Dave. He stinks. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. You want to talk about the Eagles? Let's talk about the Eagles. Let's focus on these Eagles. I'm going to bring in Cole and James to get their picks for this one. We're going to start with the quarterback. Cole, over or under 289 and a half passing plus rushing yards for Jalen Hurts. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second, Lisa. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Eli, (laughs) taking taking a a little uh, exception with what Tony had to say. Eli, we'll get back to you in just a second. But either way, Jalen Hurts. (laughs) Well, when it comes to 289 and a half combined passing and rushing, he's fallen short in each of the last three. But we know one thing he has done is gone up there and played steady as a rock. But uh, 50 or more rushing yards seven times uh, this season. That's postseason combined. And uh, when it comes to the passing game, yardage wise, 229 yards or less in four of the last five. And when it comes to that combo matching up just like that, I I don't think it's really going to hit. So all signs, Lisa. Right now, a point to the under for Mr. Hurts. Well, I disagree with Cole, and I disagree with Cole for this reason, right? The Kansas City Chiefs are who the Kansas City Chiefs are. And what they do on the defensive side of the ball is they play man-to-man, and they try to get after the passer, right? That is going to be a bad formula for Jalen Hurts for two reasons. Number one, he can use his legs and run the football very well. Number two, he got some bad boys on the outside that can catch this football and yeah. dominate in one-on-one coverage. And I'm telling you right now, Lisa and Cole, defenses don't just come in there and say we're going away from what we do best and we're just going to switch it all up and play some zone coverage because of what they do. They're going to come out there and do what they do. And I think Jalen Hurts he uses his legs big in this one and his receivers go to work. I'm saying it's over. In this one, Jalen Hurts. Oh, you act like you've played this game before or something. Hey, James, <laughs> coming back to you, over or under, 72 and a half receiving yards. Let's talk about A.J. Brown. Well, I just told you, Lisa, that a lot of man-to-man coverage is coming, and I'm sure that A.J. Brown is sitting there watching this tape right now, licking his chops, like looking at his quarterback, like, you see what's going on. We're going to have some fun out there. Uh, when the Super Bowl hits on Sunday, I'm saying he goes over this, and I'm saying he goes over easily. I'm saying he hits the 100 yard mark in this ball game. James, I know you're a fan of cinema, and like Ron Burgundy once told Veronica Corningstone, <laughs> agree to disagree because AJ Brown, well, he hasn't had more than 28 yards in his last two games, just 50 yards combined on 14 targets. But he did have five games with 100 or more yards this season, and five of the last six regular season games. He was able to rack up 95 yards. But, James, as you know more than anyone on this program right now, the postseason, specifically the Super Bowl, a whole different beast than that regular season. And he's only had one touchdown the last six games, and touchdowns don't necessarily correlate to yardage. But uh, once again, I see the under hitting in this one. Sorry, James. Cole, if I was the if I was the number three slash four receiver going into the Super Bowl and I had 50, A.J. Brown better have a honey. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Who put the question mark in the prompter? All right, guys, let's move on now to a game prop that has a ton of plus money on the board. You guys know how much I love that plus money. First touchdown score. Let's get into this. Travis Kelsey, the favorite right now. You see it right there on your screen. So, guys, who gets into the end zone first? Dave, you're going to start us off. Yeah, and I'm going to go with uh, history repeating itself. Remember Mahomes back in the 2019 season when the Chiefs beat the 49ers. They got the ball down to the one-yard line first quarter. He ran an option. He could have pitched it. He wanted the touchdown. I think he's going to get a little bit greedy if he has a chance to get one and want to put it in the end zone himself. Plus 2,700. I'm going to tell you how it's going to go right now. The Eagles win the toss. They defer. Patrick Mahomes gets it. They go three and out. All right. Fly, Eagles fly, get the football. They come out. They say we're going to make a statement. We see man-to-man coverage. Go ball. A.J. Brown, 50-plus yards. Right. Then they run the ball a couple times. They get in third and goal. Miles Sanders, handoff, touchdown. Eagles on the scoreboard. First, seven to zero. 
James, I thought you stole my thunder there. I'm going A.J. Brown. <laughs> I think you know this. You played with wide receivers. Squeaky wheel, you talk. You're saying, where's my football? Why am I not getting touches? Quarterbacks have a tendency to go to those big guys, especially when he's such a huge target down in the red zone. I think he's going to find Pater in this game, and that's going to scare the Chiefs once he gets involved early and often. Well, Tony, you just made mention of the red zone and the Chiefs are going to look to uh, put that dominance on center stage. And I think they're going to go with the best cut man in the game because forget 30. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Isaiah Pacheco plus 850. I, before the season got underway, I you did love this guy. Uh, not to get him to be the offensive <laughs> of the year. Didn't necessarily elevate to those statuses. But uh, yeah, I, I think that what he's going to be able to do, he's going to punch it in that rectangle. It's, it's going to be a joyous occasion. Plus 850, everybody get paid. Mm. Yeah, Pacheco can be a little bit of a squeaky wheel, right? He's going to get that WD-40 we talked about last show. All right, you guys, moving on, because have you heard about the most anticipated kick of Super Bowl Sunday? FanDuel's kick of destiny for $10 million in bonus bets. That's right. Rob Gronkowski will attempt a field goal live in the third quarter of the Super Bowl, and you can get a piece of the $10 million in bonus bets if he makes the kick. Just place a wager of five or more on Super Bowl 57 before kickoff, and you will receive a bonus if Gronk nails the kick of destiny. It doesn't matter if you're new to FanDuel or already playing with us. Everyone is eligible. Gronk kicks, you win. It's as simple as that. Place that $5 wager. Do it now. Limit one per person and cheer on Gronk as he goes for glory and $10 million for FanDuel betters. Coming up here on More Ways to Win, we're throwing a parlay party. Our guys are handing out, handing out same game parlay picks and watching those odds skyrocket. That's next here on Fatal TV's More Ways to Win. And we're rolling on here on More Ways to Win. Thanks for hanging with us as we get you ready for the Super Bowl. And we're bringing in our special guest to give his expert analysis now. Yes, I love this segment so much. Chad Millman is the co chief content officer of the Action Network, and he has done all the research for you, as he's done all season long. Chad, you were 2-0 and o last week. We're counting on you to deliver again on your Super Bowl picks now. Got to give us your best bets for this game. What line caught your attention? We're going to get two from you. What's the, what's the first one? Well, listen, Lisa, the theme all season long in this segment has been we got to hold our nose and do what the numbers tell us, even if it really makes us uncomfortable, because in this case, it means we're betting against Patrick Mahomes, and nobody likes to bet against the guy who's going to go down as the greatest quarterback who's ever played. But the problem is, right now, the Philadelphia Eagles are elite against number one receivers. So that means they will play really well against Travis Kelsey. And who is Patrick Mahomes going to throw to after that? We saw in the AFC Championship game so many of his receivers going down with injuries, so they have a lot of problems after Travis Kelsey. But when you think about this game and when professional bettors think about betting on games like this, they're looking at the trenches. They think about the offensive line. They think about the defensive line. And the defensive line for the Eagles, number one in the NFL in pressure rate, number one in the NFL in sack rate. The Chiefs' offensive line, middle of the pack when it comes to pass protection. And if you look at the other side of the ball, that offensive line for the Eagles is historically great with two likely Hall of Famers, Elaine Johnson and Jason Kelsey. And it's led to an historically great season for the Eagles when it comes to rushing the ball. And again, the Chiefs defensive line and their defense against the rush, pretty mediocre. So I'm going to have to hold my nose. I'm going to have to bet against Patrick Mahomes and go with the Eagles. You know, I'm not feeling that, Chad, but that's OK. I know you've got another <laughs> best bet for us. What you got? All right, so look, if I believe that what I'm saying about the Eagles and these bets are correlated, then I'm going to have to go with the under because I believe the Eagles are going to be able to control the line of scrimmage on offense, have long, sustaining drives. And look, Jalen Hurts, we've talked about his shoulder injury. A lot of people have been talking about his shoulder injury. He has not passed the ball very well since he's been back. And you saw some errant throws. We talked to, you guys talked about A.J. Brown and his props earlier in the show. He misses A.J. Brown a lot on those deep throws. I think there are still issues lingering with that shoulder. You would see him starting to run the ball more as the game went on. So I think it, the game script calls for a lot of rushes from the Eagles. That means they can control the clock. And if we're looking at the defensive side of the ball, 
I like what the Eagles defensive line can do to keep Mahomes and the Chiefs offense off the field. All that leads to me thinking this game is going to go under the total right now. All right. Awesome stuff, Chad. And you can get more of Chad's insight by listening to The Favorites a podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Also, make sure to download the Action Network app where you can get expert picks, live scores, and stats. Chad, thank you. You're the best. We'll see you next week. And now it is time for a parlay party. Everybody loves this. The same game, a parlay party, to be exact. Dave and Pony, this is your time to shine. So give us a same game parlay winner. I only want winners here, Dave. You're up first. Man, there are so many options to choose from now because everything's up there for the Super Bowl. But click on the game, click on same game parlay, and, and go to town. Here's what I've done. I, I'm going to kind of combine some players with multiple things in the same parlor. Let's start with Travis Kelsey. I believe he's going to have a big game. I think he's going to get at least 90 yards, and I think he's going to score. So I'm going to have him as an anytime touchdown score. That can be the first play of the game. It can be the last play of the game. Anytime, as long as he gets into the end zone, that catches. But I also think he's going to have at least 90 yards because he's hit that number in seven out of his late last eight playoff games. You can Let's say he gets a 50-yard touchdown you're basically checking off two boxes with one play. I love that. Uh, as far as Patrick Mahomes, I think he'll have a big game in the air. I think he's going to pass a lot against the Eagles and hit Kelsey on a number of occasions. In doing that, he's going to go over 300 yards. I also think he's going to use his legs. He's going to be a lot healthier here with the two weeks gone by. We saw what he did in the last play against Cincinnati where he scrambled. He can run, and he will be running. Imagine this. If he scores from the 19-yard line, you would check off that over 18.5 rushing yards bet and you would check off an anytime touchdown score bet because I think Mahomes is going to get a rushing touchdown in this game. He had one when the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, and it could be from the one-yard line, but hopefully it's a long one so he gets those yards that I need. Now let's talk about another guy that you could throw the ball to to help him get those 300 yards, and that is Jared McKinnon out of the backfield. I don't have McKinnon to score. He's been a little bit chilly in the touchdown department late, but I think he will get some uh, swings out of the backfield, some catches that get him over 23 yards. And then as far as the game itself, I think it's going to be high scoring. So I'm going to take the over 50 and a half, and I'm going to throw one Eagles guy in there. It's not somebody that everybody's that familiar with. Quez Watkins, last year when he played the Chiefs, he did have three catches for 33 yards. He hasn't really been used that much, but my belief is that they're going to be more pass-heavy in this game than run-heavy like they have been so far in the playoffs. So I'm going to use him to go over a very small number, 12 and a half receiving yard, $20 over 3400 bucks. Yeah, dug deep. Quez Watkins, very nice. Quez, uh, hey, Dave, I love guy. it. I love it. Went for a huge, right? My, I have his jersey and everything. No, I'm kidding. Uh, all right. Went huge eight-legger there for Dave. Monster payout. You saw that happen. Pony, give us your same-game parlay, and we're going to see how it stacks up. What do you got? Yeah, I w- would point out that I think I lost last week on one yard by Kelsey, so I'm a little bit <laughs> aggravated over that. So let's get into what will be a huge payout and a big win for the big game, starting with the quarterbacks. I'm going to be consistent. My parlay is going to back up who I like to win in the game, and it's going to start with Hurts going over his passing yards. But he's not 100%. His shoulder is hurting. He's missing guys downfield. Two weeks to get ready for this game against a very banged-up Chiefs secondary. Take the over. That's one. Next up, Mahomes under. Oh, he can do 283 and a half yards in his sleep. He's had 400 yard games. He's had 350 yard games. Yeah, well, let's see what he does against this vaunted Eagles front seven that led the league in sacks. I'm not convinced he sits back and makes all kinds of play, plays with his mobility compromised with the high ankle sprain. From there, I'm gonna pair Devont, uh, I'm gonna pair Jalen Hurts with his targets to go over. Dallas Goddard. Trust the tight end. Willie Gay's banged up. The tight end's going to make plays for Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, what a heads-up play by him. He didn't catch that football, but he went like this. The play counted. He's going to make more big plays like that in the Super Bowl. Give Devontae Smith a look at over. I'm not done yet. A.J. Brown, now is the time. He's been like Rip Van Winkle, sleepy the last few weeks. 
He comes out of his slumber, wakes up. There's no Kansas City Chiefs corner that can defend this guy. They're all rookies. He goes off. And then lastly, Miles Sanders. The Eagles are going to pass in the early in the game to run late. They'll have a lead, and Sanders will secure it. There's my parlay for you. This isn't crazy like Dave's. This one will actually hit. No, I'm literally looking at this graphic right here. He thinks that the Chiefs are going to lose 100 to 4. Look at all that. Over, 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 under. Come on. All right. You got a tail, Dave. Or if you want to, I guess, Pony, that's fine too. Just head to the FanDuel Sportsbook app now. You can make your own same game parlay and watch your own odds absolutely skyrocket for just 20 bucks. All right. More great news, guys. FanDuel is offering new customers a, new, a no sweat first bet for the Super Bowl. Just download the FanDuel Sportsbook app, place a cash bet on the big game. If your bet doesn't win, you're going to get up to $3,000 back in bonus bets. So make sure to download the app. You can do it right now and take advantage of this and no sweat first bet promotion happening right now and of course you can also get in on the fun with daily fantasy one stop shop right there on your phone all you have to do is switch tabs FanDuel has a bunch of DFS contests live right now where you can win thousands of dollars on FanDuel.com and of course again on the app how do you give yourself an edge here well, you got to take advantage of that MVP position, which gives you one and a half times the points. Jim Sonis has been giving us advice all year long. Jim is back. Hey, Jim, which players are some good MVP options to plug into your lineup? What you got? Thanks, Lisa. For those of you who may be playing single game daily fantasy for the first time this year, the one thing you need to know is that you get a 1.5x multiplier for one player on your roster. You want to pick the player you think will be the highest scoring guy on your team and put that in that MVP slot. We're going to go through today my top three candidates for that MVP slot on FanDuel for Super Bowl 57. We're going to be in here with my number three candidate. That is AJ Brown with a slight edge over Travis Kelsey in large part because they score their points in a different way. Kelsey scores via touchdowns. And if he scores a lot of touchdowns, that's going to benefit Patrick Mahomes. But A.J. Brown can get there via yardage as well, which differentiates him a bit from Jalen Hurts. So I think that A.J. Brown, the better guy here over Travis Kelsey as a result of that. Brown was the Eagles' highest scoring player in three separate games this year, whereas Kelsey did it just twice. So A.J. Brown has a lot of yardage upside. We saw the big bodies of Jamar Chase and T. Higgins do well against the Chiefs in the conference championship. So I think A.J. Brown makes your lineups very different and does have a very clear path to being the highest scoring guy if you want to get weird. The top two guys though, obviously are the quarterbacks here. I'm going to start things off with Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes showed in the conference championship that he is healthy enough for us to have confidence in him once again next weekend. So Mahomes, very efficient as a passer in that game. He ran a bit, enough to the point where he can get out of trouble if forced to do so. And his pass catchers on Sunday for the Super Bowl should be healthier than they were in the second half of that game against the Bengals. So Mahomes has a good enough supporting cast, has some rushing in his bag, and should be healthier now. That's going to make him the number two MVP candidate here. But I do want to give the slight edge to Jalen Hurts. And that's all because of what Hurts does as a rusher. Rushing production is so valuable in daily fantasy because it gives you both access to a great floor and access to a great ceiling. Jalen Hurts showed that this year. Great rushing production, but also a lot of rushing touchdowns because he will run in high leverage situations. So that to me is a key differentiator. here. Both these guys can be good passers, but Hurts has the edge as a rusher. So if I'm picking just one lineup, Lisa, I'm going to go Jalen Hurts as my MVP in large part because of all the disgusting things he can do as a rusher. I love it, Jim. Yes, let's get weird. I love it. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for joining us this weekend. Always set your lineups at FanDuel.com and follow Jim on Twitter at Jim Saunas. And hey, check out his Covering the Spread podcast wherever you get your podcast. All right, coming up here on More Ways to Win, it is accountability time. Let's see just how well these guys picked last week and who's nailing their bets. So that's coming up. But before we get to that, a special uh, n- r- programming note for next week as we get you ready for Super Bowl 57. More of us, More Ways to Win. We'll be airing daily shows from Tuesday to Sunday on FanDuel TV, and we're coming to you from 
from the Super Bowl. The More Ways to Win team will be in Glendale, Arizona, bringing you our same great betting content, plus special guest appearances from current and former NFL players, along with celebrities joining us with their picks and analysis on the big game. Showtime's right there on your screen, so don't miss us all next week, Tuesday through Sunday on FanDuel TV. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to FanDuel TV's More Ways to Win. Coming at you live from the FanDuel Sportsbook here at the Meadowlands. And you know we're all about accountability on this show. And, guys, you had some interesting picks last week. I'm going to roll those back because we've got to find out who is right, who is wrong. And there's only one way to find out. We're going to take a quick look back at some of your predictions and explanations on last week's show and see just how well you did. Roll the tape, guys. Take the Eagles. The Eagles aren't all that. I see the eagle ride in this one. George Kittle with the over. The Bengals are going back to the Super Bowl. Kansas City, they're going to be legendary in this one. This is going to be a big time game for JoJo Burrow, and they're going to send Patty Mahomes and Kansas City Chiefs home. He'll get at least two. I'm going over. I am saving my red for next week when we are talking about the Chiefs heading to the Super Bowl, I believe, to play (laughs) these Philadelphia Eagles. So I stand here and I don't have to say a word. Oh, man. What do you guys have to good. say for yourselves? That was fun. No, I think we created a segment to make you look even better, Lisa, is what I think. This is a chance for you to gloat and brag. We're supposed to be the experts. Yeah. You schooled that's us. Why, yeah, no. That's why I got all the dollar I, I, I signs. Pick, that's right. Cash K- money. Kansas City and Philly, but you still brought the fact that I picked George Kittle to go with the over. Th- thanks for bringing up old stuff, guys. So I have to talk to our producer, Dish, on that you one. Know. Hey, hey, they brought up old stuff on all of us, Cole, which, which is fine. You know, I'm just laughing how I said JoJo Burrow going to send Patty Mahomes home and looking at your face, looking over at me. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was oh, almost like when you said that Drew Brees doesn't do anything special. Remember that one, James? <laughs> hey, you know, I'm just I know speaking to real, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just speaking to That's real. That's fun, man. you guys. Oh, man. You got to keep it real. You got to do, as I always say, you got to do you. Uh, congrats on all of you who nailed your bets. For those of that you didn't, you know, you can make up for it. You got to step up your game. We're going to talk about another game because there are two teams left standing. You get a chance to do that right now. We're going to get to a quick recap of your spread pick on this Super Bowl ahead of us. Eagles and Chiefs, baby. The best teams from each conference, each winning 14 games in the regular season and losing only three. Guys, the Eagles sitting as one and a half point favorites against my Chiefs. If that line tells you anything, it should be an incredible game. Let me get all of your picks. We're going to start with you, Dave. I, I really thought that Mahomes would be the favorite in this game and his Chiefs, so I'm getting a few points. I'm, I'm liking that. You know, I think they're going to win the game. We haven't talked about this yet. The, the Eagles scored four touchdowns on the ground last week. The Chiefs are one of the better teams at not allowing teams to score on the run against them, sixth best. So I think they're going to have a little bit tougher time this week moving the ball on the ground. I think the Chiefs get the job done. You know, Dave, the reason why you're surprised is because you don't know defense wins championships, Dave. You know, that Tom Brady has seven of them, and he has top ten defenses in every last one of them. The Philadelphia Eagles defense does not mess around. And the thing they do best is what all quarterbacks hate is because they get them off the spot and they make pressure all game long. You've seen it last week. You've seen it all season long with them leading the league in sacks. And Dominic and Sue, Reddick, Fletcher, Cox, I mean, they are going to be coming after Patty Mahomes all game long. I see the fly, Eagles fly in this one right here. I don't know how Patrick Mahomes walks out of Arizona with a W over the Eagles with what they got going right now. He's not going to. That's what's going to happen in his career record in Super Bowls, James, is going to be one and two. You know, Dave has said a couple of times here, uh, the Eagles, you know, they benefited, they've been the beneficiary of an easy schedule. They played in a division that had three teams left in the divisional round, Dave. Three of eight final teams were from the NFC East. Their last place team was Washington, who was alive for a playoff spot in week 17. Yeah. 
Okay, that shows you how the bad the NFC is. AFC is the best, the, the best conference by far. Come on. Uh, you're, you're right. I apologize because the Raiders were so good. Ask Cole and the Broncos the Raiders, were spectacular the <laughs> in that AFC West. Yeah, they just had you know oh, such a difficult yeah. ride to get through that division. No, I, I think the, I think the Eagles. If anything, if it was an easy road, they should be fresher for this game. They're not as they're not as banged up. Not as many pounds of flesh taken out of them to get here. I like the Eagles, Cole. Yeah, well, Pony, I mean, you just brought me into the mix for, for no apparent reason. But either way, we're not going to even bring up the fact about the guys that were talking about those uh, Los Angeles Chargers at the beginning of the season. But I digress. When it comes to the line on this game, it's, it's downright disrespectful. I feel like Patrick Mahomes is needing to channel his inner bird man right now and walk into the studio and tell everyone to put some respect <laughs> on his name with the K because eight games decided by three points or fewer and Patrick Mahomes and company sticks in two in those ball games and they have uh, 10 wins by 10 or more points so far this year and like I told you earlier in the program three of those were versus playoff teams from this season Patrick Mahomes and company they're on a trajectory for Super Bowl stardom I, I gotta see the Kansas City Chiefs winning in this one and like I said 31-27 if you like that score then you should ride with me I like that score. You guys are talking so you guys are talking so much about Patrick Mahomes about hey, let's talk about holding Jojo Burrow to just 20 points last week. Hey, hey Jalen Hurts, I'd like to introduce you to Chris Jones. Yeah. Have Let's talk about day. those reps who job the Bengals, Lisa. We got time for that this segment? Hey, I just Yikes. got one question. Hey, I just got one question. I, I'm not the one with the 15-yard penalty to set up the field goal. <laughs> I, I, I just got one question. I pray we do a show after the Super Bowl so we can recap all this <laughs> and see who it is. I think that would be a good show. <laughs> Yep, we're gonna do we're gonna do a show just of recaps so that y'all can see. All right, uh, hey, have you heard? Have you heard about the most anticipated kick of Super Bowl Sunday? It's coming, Fanduel's kick of destiny for ten million dollars in bonus bets. Check it out. That's right, Rob Gronkowski will attempt a field goal live in the third quarter of the Super Bowl, and you can get a piece of the ten million in bonus bets if he makes the kick. That's right. Just place a wager of five. $5 or more on Super Bowl 57 before kickoff, and you're going to receive a bonus. If Gronk gets the kick of destiny, it doesn't matter if you're new to FanDuel or already playing with us. Everyone is eligible for this special promotion. Gronk kicks, you win. It's as simple as that. Limit one per person and cheer on Gronk as he goes for glory and $10 million in bonus bets for FanDuel betters. And you know this already, but we've got plenty more coming up, including our expert picks for Super Bowl MVP. You're watching Fandle TV's More Ways to Win. Stay with us. We're coming right back. All right, welcome back to more ways to win. Yes, you're in the right place. We are getting you ready to bet the Super Bowl. And so we are going to bet the Super Bowl spread, and we are talking about it right now. The over-under for Kansas City and Philly sitting there at 50 and a half points at the FanDuel Sportsbook. I'm going to get all of your picks here. Dave, are you going over or under 50 and a half? Well, James says he doesn't know how Mahomes is going to walk out of there with a ring this year. He's going to do it by hanging up 38 points. That's what he's going to do. I think you're underestimating what the Chiefs can do offensively. When they score, this game goes over. I'm taking the over. Dave, if the Kansas City Chiefs score 38 points on the Philadelphia Eagles defense in this Super Bowl, um, off camera, man, you got to come up with something, man, but I'll buy you something if you are right on this because this is crazy. I do not see this happen. This is definitely going to be under right here, man. I'm telling you, the Philadelphia Eagles defense is going to come to play, and the Kansas City Chiefs defense is going to make some plays, too. I definitely see this being under right here. I think both these offenses will find a way to get in the end zone a couple times, but is definitely going to be under. And 38? 38. <laughs> you are crazy. That's definitely not happening. The number actually seems high to me because the last three uh, Chiefs games have gone under, the last four Eagles games have gone under, and the last two Super Bowls have gone under 50 points. But if you just do the score in your head, it goes over 
if it's 27 to 24. That seems low scoring for both teams. So I'm going to go over that number. Well, uh, Dave, I'm, I'm with you. And James, if you feel like buying me anything after I win this wager, I, I'll go with a pair of Jordan 1 lows. I fancy those right about now. But uh, Kansas City <laughs> averaging just under 29 points per game. And they've allowed 23 or more points 10 times this season. So uh, if you do some simple math right there, law of averages says that this one, it's going to go towards the over. I'm still working on what uh, what I want, James. So um, I'm going to follow up with you on that one o o offline, offline. All right. I've been saying it all show long, guys. There are a ton of fun prop bets on the board for this game. We're going to get some right now. So let's get to it. Um, right. Cole and James, this segment is for you. We bet the first touchdown score earlier in the show. So let's do any time touchdown score. Cole, who gets into the end zone at any point in this game? Well, I, I got to roll with the pride of South Dakota State University. Dallas Goddard, he's going to go out there, only scored three touchdowns during the regular season, but sometimes in the Super Bowl, you need to go with that guy who is not getting all those eyes on him defensively. And Dallas Goddard, not to say that they're not going to try to lock him up on the defensive side of the ball for Kansas City, but Goddard, I feel like he's going to get loose. I like the numbers right there. You got to roll with me. Yeah, Dallas Goddard's not on there, and I don't see the running back for the Philadelphia Scott on there neither. And that is my guy. I mean, I think he is going to – they are going to run the football well. And Jalen Hurts allows his team to run the football well on top of that big-time offensive line they have. I think you see Miles Sanders get in there, and I also think you see Scott get in there as well. I'm saying any time touchdown goes to the backup running back, Scott. All right, off the board for both of you guys. Dave and Pony, let's get to you. Over or under seven and a half receptions for Mahomes' favorite target in Travis Kelsey. Dave, what do you think? Uh, I think he's going over. He had 10 the last time he was in the Super Bowl. And I'm quick right here. I'm on the uh, sportsbook.bandle.com. Just so you know, Goddard's plus 190. Dallas Scott, he's way down there. I don't even see him. You know, he has massive odds. But I'm taking the over on Kelsey. Kelsey had 15 targets in the last Super Bowl, but I think this is a different story because with all the other weapons injured for the Chiefs, I think the Eagles load up on Kelsey and keep him under seven and a half, but just barely. I see him with seven catches in this game. Okay, uh, James and Pony, let's get to you guys. You can even bet on the results of the first drive of the game. Punt, offensive, touchdown, field goal attempt, or other. Uh, it's all there on the FanDuel Sportsbook app right now. James, what do you think? Well, I told you guys how the game's going to start. Uh, it's going to start with uh, the Eagles winning the coin toss. They are going to defer. The Kansas City Chiefs are going to get the ball. They are going to go three and out, and they are going to punt the football and the Eagles will get it and go down the field and Miles Sanders touchdown. So James, it will I'm gonna be a punt you. by the Kansas City Chiefs. James, I'm going to blow your mind right now. Good thing you're not in your nice Phoenix home because I don't want you to make a mess when I say this. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a safety. I think, I think we're going to see a safety. We've seen safeties in Super Bowls. Super Bowl IX started with a safety. Peyton Manning, Super Bowl in New York with a safety. I think the Eagles pressure overwhelms the Chiefs and we will see a safety, Lisa, to start Super Bowl 57. Now, I actually that, very much like that left-handed term. You did, right? Yeah, to talk about Peyton Manning and that Super Bowl here in New York. My gosh. Uh, okay, coming up, you guys, we have so much more left to get to on this show. Yes, you can bet on the Super Bowl outright winner. And yes, you can also bet on the Super Bowl MVP. There are some great odds on the board right now. Our guys give out their picks next. Just a couple minutes left in this show as we get you ready for Super Bowl 57. So we're going to fast forward to the end of the big game. And of course, you can bet on the Super Bowl winner. But right now, you can also bet on the Super Bowl MVP. And there are some great odds on the board right now, especially if you think a non-quarterback is going to win the award. Guys, let's go around the horn and get your picks. Dave, who's winning MVP? Yeah, as that confetti might still be falling down on the stage. It's been a wide receiver two of the last four years. I think that changed. It's back to the quarterbacks here. Patrick Mahomes gets his second MVP. I'm chalking it up here. If you like the Chiefs, it's going to be Mahomes. Uh, 
that Eagles fly, it is going to be Jalen Hurts, and it's going to be Jalen Hurts by a landslide. He's going to make plays with his legs. He's going to make plays with his arms. He's going to have a couple touchdowns running. He's going to have a couple touchdowns passing. Jalen Hurts holds up that MVP trophy. We've seen guys who make interceptions win the MVP as long shots. Jake Scott, Super Bowl Seven. Larry Brown in Phoenix, Super Bowl 30. Dexter Jackson, Super Bowl 37 with Tampa. CJ Gardner Johnson, not one, but two Patrick Mahomes picks. And a long shot comes through to be the Super Bowl MVP. He had six in the regular season to lead the league. Yeah, Pony rolling the dice to put a whole bunch of extra bucks in your pocket, but I'm going to go with the safe bet with my guy Dave as I wear those new Jordan ones that James gifted me after I win that wager. A plus 120, Patrick Mahomes. Let's get this bread, everybody. Man, you guys are bold. You are some real risk takers. Way to go out on a limb, Dave and Cole. Wow. I tell you what, no matter which side you're on, this is going to be a gift of a game. The Super Bowl is almost here. Thanks for watching More Ways to Win. We appreciate you hanging with us this weekend, every single week, and join us next week, every single day, leading you up to the Super Bowl right here on FanDuel TV. We'll see you then, everybody. Have a great day.